Hi guys, so today I'm here to do my November favourites. Um, I'm going to start with mine first um, and I'm going to do two things for me and two things for Freddie. So the first thing that I'm really loving this month is the, you probably won't be able to see it because the light, it's um, Garnier Body Intensive 7 Days Replenishing Lotion with L. Bifidus. Um, and it smells, it's mango oil and it's especially for dry skin. There we go. This is a 250ml bottle, it's from Garnier, um, and it smells, yeah, it doesn't, it smells, you can smell the mango in it, but it doesn't, I wouldn't say it's like massively mangoey smelling, but I've been having such dry skin on my face, like ridiculously dry skin. I don't know why, like within the last, I'd say two weeks, like England has just gone boom, it's winter. Um, so. This I've been using for my skin. I don't know whether you can see. I haven't got any makeup on, but um, here and here, I've been getting spots and dry skin. I tried to put a f um, new foundation. Foundation I've been having such problems with. So um, I've been using the Garnier, and it has improved it slightly. But I just think it's like really moisturised, moisturising, and it's just good for my skin, and it smells really nice. So. Yeah. Um, the next thing, oh, um, I got this, I actually got given this um, because um, Matt's mum had an allergic reaction to it and she literally had only used it one time so she said I could have it so yeah um, you can get this anywhere um, and you can probably get it online so I'll just go ahead and put in like a boots link or something in the description box if you want to check that out it's probably around about three pounds for that um, maybe less but I'll check for you um, the next thing um, that is on my favorites is actually a piece of jewelry um, I think you pronounce it um, sham sham shambala shambala or something but this is the bracelet Ooh, look at it shine um, but it's so sunny so it's um, a black band with white sort of fake diamonds and um, you release it like that and then you put it on turn the things and then that's the blanket it's got magnetic balls here which just stick on and then that's the bracelet and this is just, this, um, you can get this in loads of different colours, but this is the one that I wanted. Um, it goes with, because I wear quite, um, usually I have like one statement black piece. Um, and this, I'm wearing like monochrome today, I'm wearing like black, black trousers and like a white and navy black top. So this kind of goes with the outfit and um, you can dress it up, you can wear it like casually, you can wear it like out for the evenings. I'm not a massive um, jewellery fan, um, as you can see I'm wearing no earrings, um, no necklace, um, but I quite like these and here, this is the bargain of this. I got this off of Amazon for just under £4, so it is a fake. It's definitely not real. Um, you can buy them real there. I've seen one for about £80. So yeah, those are, this is just the cheap equivalent. And you can get more expensive cheap ones, but this was just, I know it's not gonna last very long, but it's just, you know, for just something that you're just gonna wear for a couple of times, it's just fine for me. <clears throat> the next thing is one of, so that's both of mine. And these are gonna be Freddie's favorites. Um, so in the town where I live, just outside is a um, a second, uh, well, sort of like a second hand slash new toy shop. Um, and we went there last week, I believe. Yeah, last weekend. Um, so a week tomorrow. Um, and we went in there and we were just looking for present ideas for Freddie, um, me and his dad. Um, because he's at that awkward age, he's coming up to 17 months now um, and he's quite able to do a lot of things so we were looking around and I've been trying to get these Tommy eggs 
for ages and um, I found them for second hand for £2.50 it was brilliant like in I saw this in Tesco my local Tesco's for £7 and I thought I'm not really don't want to have to pay seven pounds i looked on amazon and that still was like quite expensive so for two pound fifty i gave it um a clean when i got home but they weren't dirty um so this is what they look like two i'm, I'm missing two bottoms so don't worry they're just around the floor somewhere but um they have i don't know whether you can see they have shapes on the bottom and then they're like little eggs like this and then that bit comes off and it's got like a little um, sort of like egg or chick and then it's got the little shape on the bottom and then it matches up with the shapes in the tray. So yeah, Freddie really likes that. You can use that, um, I'm not sure on the age range for these, I'll put a link in the description box but um, he, he loves taking them apart and putting them back together. Um, we're starting to like teach him how to put them back in. He knows how to put them together. So like the top of the shell with the bottom piece. And he just loves them. Um, he's also found a lot of pleasure in hiding them. That's why we've lost two pieces already. But I make sure like now I've taken them away from him because um, I don't want to lose any more pieces so until I find the other two he can have them back <laughs> so yeah this is great so if you can get things second hand like toys second hand I would really highly suggest doing it um, you're not less of a parent for doing so it's just they grow out of toys so quickly and in my experience Freddie is sort of at that age now where he doesn't understand the difference between um, rough and like gentle with things so he is quite rough with his toys so um especially if there's a risk of them getting damaged then i wouldn't waste a lot of money on things like that so yeah those are those and then the second thing is also from the um it's also from the second hand shop it's the uh, fisher price it's the cookie shape sort of thing um, it comes in two different colours. I got it in the neutral, obviously, because I have a boy. Um, it does also come in a pink, but this is the standard, the standard um, colours. Um, it comes with like a lifty off lid, and then the different shapes there. It has the numbers on the shapes too. And then around the cookie jar, it has the shapes, and then you turn it on, and it press the nose and it has a sensor on the actual inside you can see it there and as you put your hand in I have to say this is the most annoying sound ever if you're a parent and you are going insane by toy noises this one is probably the top five annoying noise we have a love-hate relationship don't we Mr Cookie mm. so it does have a sound setting on the bottom. Mine is set low, as you can imagine. Um, but no, he loves this toy. He has really gotten well on well with this. He takes the shape and he comes up to me and he goes, Mama, Mama. So what we're doing is, it actually, the, the, the toy will actually tell you what shape it is once you put it through. So I'll just show you, for instance, here. So here is the square. Square. It's that, <laughs> that is the most annoying thing. So, yeah, that's my second toy. So these, these two are my top favourite toys for Freddy. And these are my favourite things for November. So I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon. All links will be in the description bar below. Thanks, guys. Bye.